Hi, this is Dave with searchingforsimple.com. Got a quick update for you. Um, we received a, uh, t about 2,000 gallons worth of water the other day. Uh, we had that delivered. Um, I said in our first video that we're going to be doing rainwater catchment, and that is true. But however, we don't have a big enough structure to gather water from right now to harvest water with. So we're getting delivery from a local uh, water delivery service, which is great. However, we set up last time we wanted to walk through how we got all of our pipes ready for winterization and it was one degree last night and we made it through all of our pipes are still ready to go uh, and still flowing with water so we're doing really good and I think uh, a couple of things to mention here I think the uh, the heat strips that are the electrified heat strips on the inch uh, inch and a half schedule 40 pipe did a great job for us I think uh, none of those failed but the sand probably also did a great job uh, as a backup for us. Um, one reason why I say that is because we have exposed pipes over there on the pump house that have no sand on them. They just have the, the half inch insulation with the heated strip inside the insulators and it's still the schedule 40 pipe, inch and a half, and those did not freeze. So the heat strips are really doing a great job. But again, the backup is the sand um, just in case one of those fails. So now we're moving back to the tank where we're standing. Um, the big savior of the day, I think, probably was the pond heater that Heather bought from Walmart.com. Uh, it's a 1500 watt uh, pond heater, and I'm going to move over here and show you the GFCI outlet that I installed. Um, I've got a nice, big, heavy duty power cord for the 1500 watt uh, uh, current to flow through, and it's plugged into the GFCI outlet right here. Um, and it's it's manufactured uh, spec for that they say don't use an extension cord obvious reasons you don't want the extension cord to go down in the water that's probably why they say that for people who don't know that water and electricity don't mix uh, secondly 1500 watts is a lot of current so you want to make sure you got a power cable rated for that amount of power okay so here we are at the top of the water tank we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the uh, tank heater which is actually called a pond de-icer and again we got this from walmart.com uh, and one of the things that uh, we were looking for was to see if this has actually been used for this type of purpose and on walmart.com under the comments section it has not we, we appear to be one of the first ones using this type of uh, device in this manner um, that we know of so as you see it's round, surrounded here with uh, plastic and by the way I took this out and I unplugged it the, taking the power off so we could look at this. If you left the power on it'd be smoking like crazy and you couldn't do this. You don't want to do this, uh, w take the thing out of the water with the power on. If you look here there's a plastic cage. This thing will sink right to the bottom but it won't come into contact with your plastic tank which is uh, very important one of the reasons why we got it. Heather came out here this morning took a look in this. Um, it was about seven degrees when she came out. There was about a quarter of inch worth of ice on the top of this tank. She had to break the ice. She stuck the thermometer down there and it's at 38 degrees. So that little uh, pond de-icer is doing a fantastic job for us. This thing came with a plastic floater ring that you can pull off and you can let it float or you can let it sink depending on what your, your needs are. It's probably designed for livestock, which is why people want it to float, because you want the water to be thawed at the surface so that your livestock can get access to water. But in this case, we want it to sink near where our water outlet is in the tank, which is where we have it positioned. So all that being said, we've stayed warm. The pond de-icer has done a great job. So uh, we'll leave the uh, information on that pond de-icer in the description on this video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section of the YouTube video or visit our website searchingforsimple.com. That's it for now. We'll be back with you soon. Thanks.